am a woman of many bags. I'm also currently a woman of very little furniture. This is my new room. I haven't purchased anything yet. But I still have a bit of cleaning to do. I just want to do a what's in my purses. Oftentimes I don't clean them out. I have like rotating bags and I'll throw my phone keys and wallet in the main girl. So far all of my bags are in this. Shall we start with this? What's happening? Oh, it's a boy! Ah! Okay, do you want to see something funny? So I have a wildflower case on and it said tits and then the S fell off so it was saying tit for a really long time and then over the weekend the I fell off so now it just says TT. Currently keeping all of my bags in here. It's pretty amazing that they all fit in here besides three of them. This is an Alexander Wang bag. Great shape, great look. The hardware is silver, it's really nice, it's really sturdy. And the only con is that it's a bit heavy. I often find myself using it only as like an airport carry-on or something like that. I thought it was going to be the perfect school bag, but it's not. And then, not purses. Then we have a purse strap. Oh my gosh, I love taking purse straps and using them on different bags that they didn't come on. A really fun trick too is like taking your reusable grocery bag, things like that, and putting more industrial straps on it. It just really elevates the look and makes them look a lot more expensive and cool. But this goes to my favorite green purse, which was actually a gift from Kara. Brief interruption, guys. We have a sponsor for today's video. I'm actually quite excited. We have quite a bit of sponsors for this channel this month. So thank you so much to Scentbird, today's sponsor. They are a fragrance subscription service. You can pay monthly to get designer fragrances sent to you. When you sign up, you can do one cent a month, two cents a month, it shifts three. And two of them are OGs that I've been using since one since high school and one since middle school. And then I chose a new one to kind of expand my horizons. Each perfume comes in a little velvet package. It has a twist up container and inside you have a decent size of perfume and it's $15 a month. This one is Juicy Couture Viva La Juicy. I've been wearing this since high school. This one is DKNY Be Delicious. Honestly, you can't find a rollerball of DKNY Be Delicious anywhere and when they did have it, it was half the pink one, half the green one and it was so much less. So paying $15 for this, it's like you can't even get it anywhere. Okay, anyway, you slide it back in and you get a 30 day supply of fragrance, but this would last me so much more than 30 days. And then the third scent I picked is Flora by Gucci, and this is a little bit more mature than the other two. You also have the option to add a skincare product into your bundle as well. They sent me Glow Recipes Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask. I'm sure you've seen blogger girls talk about it. I was actually listening to a podcast by the girl who started this brand the other day. They also have Kapari on here too, is another one of their skincare brands, which makes one of my favorite lip balms, it's the coconut oil one. If you've never tried Scentbird before and you're interested, I got a little discount code, Lexi30, you'll get 30% off, which means you can get one of these for $10. So if you wanna try out Gucci perfume, the authentic thing, this much of it, $10, like that's such a good deal. So I'll have the information in the description box. Thanks so much Scentbird, now back onto what's in my purse. If you guys remember, March 15th, 2017, I purchased this bag from a boutique called Assembly, and this is one of my favorite purses to this date, and the brand is called Cara. That's what we're going to call it today. I will stand corrected by an annotation if I am wrong, um, but if you don't see one, that means I'm right. This bag kind of imitates a flower pail, but it's also just edgy and industrial, and um, I posted it enough to the point that they reached out and they're like, hey, do you want to come by the studio? And then they gifted me with this one. And green's my favorite color, if you did not know that. It has this seatbelt style strap. I will often take it off and carry it like this. Love that. I guess that'll lead us to this bag. So this is more of a what's in my purse portion. This is what I'm currently carrying. It also comes with a seatbelt strap. I've been carrying it like this. It is a little bit of a tight hold, but it still looks cute. I don't know, it's never really bothered me to be honest. In here we have a book, my sunglass case. Without my sunglasses, they must be in the living room, but there's that. Pretty generic stuff. We have my wallet. I really like this wallet. It zips so I can keep my cards and money. And then it has 
a little side pocket and in there I have my Metro card and some guy gave me his card. Honestly, I was gonna invest in like a nice wallet. I was gonna get an acne one. I went to opening ceremony and I was like, it's the time, you know? I want to invest in a nice piece and I looked at the wallets and they sucked. The acne ones right now, they fold, they have like these weird things and I was gonna get a Prada one, but then that just seemed like a bit too much for what I really wanted. Anyway, my wallet broke. That's why I was kind of in the market. And then I stopped in Urban Outfitters and I got this for $12. Then we have headphones that, oh my god, I have the dongle. I was having one of the worst days of my whole life. I had to head out of town that day and I just didn't want to leave. I was just in such a terrible headspace. Where, I don't know, I was doing not so well earlier this year. I was like, whatever, just get on the bus, plug in your headphones, listen to music, and you're going to forget all about it. So I grab my headphones and I look and I had this one which doesn't fit into the phone. Like, oh my God, what am I gonna do? Music was literally the only thing that was gonna help me. I had like five minutes before my bus left and so I run into Dwayne Reed and I'm like, do you have the adapter? And they're like, sorry, we don't. And then this guy was like, oh, do you mean the dongle? He was like, I have an extra, you can totally take this. And I was, just felt like a gift from God. I was like, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. He's like, yeah, no problem, I have a ton at home. So, headphones. <laughs> Thank you so much to that guy. Wherever you are, you don't know how much you elevated my mood. I have my Scentbird in here, which is funny because Scentbird is sponsoring this video. This was not like a little cheesy plug. Which scent is this? Juicy Couture. <clears throat> Guys, when Scentbird was like, what scents do you want? You can pick three to five. And I was like, <laughs> listing them out. And I just realized that I have such juvenile taste in perfume. Because I wrote down DKNY Be Delicious that I've been wearing since 6th grade. Juicy Couture Viva La Juicy Noir, which I started wearing in high school. And I was thinking through a third and John and I were at the Hester Street Gucci a while ago. And one of the employees was like, have you tried Flora? You should really try it. And he sprayed it and I remember it smelling fantastic. So those are the three that I picked. Um... But yeah, if you guys have a new scent that you really like, I'm very curious what perfumes you guys are wearing because I have not really changed my perfumes since very long ago. And Viva La Juicy Noir still hits, guys. It still hits. A receipt to Whole Foods. Just kidding. It's, it's our little mini market across the street. The John and I Cole Whole Foods because we're delusional. A bobby pin and a spoolie. And that's what Lexi Lombard keeps in this purse. Thank you so much. Another purse that I absolutely love. This one's so fun. Who makes it again? It's Mary Kate and Ashley's brand. It's not the row, it's Elizabeth and James. And this is a great winter bag. It just looks really sleek. It looks really expensive. I think it was maybe, I don't remember how much I spent on it. I would say all of my bags are between one and three hundred dollars, I would say. But this is a great size. You can have the ring, the little gold ring to show in the front, or you can have it show when you're walking behind, and then I'll oftentimes like string a ribbon or a scarf or something through here. I did that recently when I went to the Met. I think I posted a photo on it. And then this I got on a lunch break when I was interning at Milk Makeup. The offices are right in front of Chelsea Market, and sometimes brands would have pop-ups in there. And so Elizabeth and James was having one. I had never shopped there before. But yeah, instead of getting lunch, I bought this purse and never looked back. And here I have a headband. This headband I've had since kindergarten. I posted on my Instagram story and everyone was asking me where I got it. And I think I got it at like Jamboree or something probably. Like I was a toddler. Buy Chloe receipt. Ike, 3 a.m. Love Hus. It's like bait. Oh, this is a guy who told me to check out his SoundCloud. You guys want to look him up? It's like baby is his name. <laughs> um, this is a note from a stranger that I met at church in Charleston, South Carolina. I was there for a work trip last summer and I met a boy. He and I had a little fling and we ended up going to church together. Sunday morning and I was wearing this lavender dress but I was past this note folded up tapped my shoulder the guy behind me passed this to me it says for your comfort and confidence no admiration is intended there is a product called fashion tape for clothing in risky areas just helps you not to think about it 
I used to work costumes and makeup in Atlanta. I'm a professional baller and clothing troubleshooter it's okay Ricky I don't know how that made it through oh my god these are my favorite tampons in the whole world I don't know if they're organic though I need to switch to like Vola or whatever the organic ones are but these ones work like a charm the tampax I forget what they're called like radiance or something like that then we got a yellow lighter wow yellow 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 anything else in here Crumbs. <gasps> that just reminds me, I think I still have a granola bar in my pocket. <laughs> Little New York things, you're like walking down the street and then someone hands you their like free granola bar and like a message about God. Here you go. This is another one of my favorites. Did I ever film a What's in My Purse with this video? This is my bag for summer 2017, fall 2017. I loved it. And I got it in London. I got it at Bimba y Lola, which is a Spanish brand. I've purchased bags from them before. Um, when I was in Spain, when I went there in high school, if anyone's been watching for that long, I spent a summer in Spain when I was 16, and I got a bimba and lola bag. Anyway, this one's so beautiful. It has this African women pattern on it, on the front and the back, and on the inside as well. Um, the creative director that took over that year was from Africa, and so obviously she took massive inspiration from her homeland and then the inside's yellow which is fun and i love the layout of this bag okay i still have things in it comb yeah this is a special print edition summer 2017 <laughs> guys i miss that summer but this summer's been really good though too so cute lip gloss and that's it so the layout of this bag is fantastic you have two pockets and then the third pocket zips so it's extra secure but then it still is a super slim envelope fit and then it has a long enough strap that you can cross body but it's short enough that you can still wear it like this and it doesn't feel too long on one arm so that's a really good one i love that bag i love it so much a couple of people have asked me if I felt like uncomfortable carrying this around. I don't think that's inappropriate. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't know. I just thought it was beautiful. It was my last day in London and I went crazy shopping that day. I went to the store and I got this bag. I got three pairs of heels and then I went to Tashin Bookstore. One of my favorites. Holy cow. Um, Tashin Books. Like, I hope to have a collection of them when I'm older. Um, I spent like $500 on books and huge enormous like leonardo da vinci books like there was a book about the earth and i had to buy a separate suitcase to take home with me because i purchased so much to go back to america but the tashin sale was so good i couldn't i couldn't not get it because those books are amazing this this is just from top shop um i got it at the nordstrom top shop in tyson's corner in virginia this is really good if you're going to a concert but i like it because it's so thin obviously it's an envelope but then your arms are free and you can dance as much as you want. Now this is a controversial bag. This is my Vlieger and Vandom purse with the gun on it. This was purchased way too close to when the gun violence began. This is back when I lived in LA. I got it at Fred Siegel and it looks so real. And at the time when I bought it, I remember going in there and I saw it and I was like, oh, this is so intense. I kind of love it. And they're like, isn't it great? And there was a whole line of them. They had the ones with the gun imprinted on it. They also had one with handcuffs. They had all different sizes. And I was like, this is kind of edgy, you know? Like, look, guys, look at it. Oh my God. It just feels so inappropriate now. I've had such a hard time um, wearing it, obviously, since like terrorism and gun violence and just even like Black Lives Matter was all happening. And just to be like this little white girl walking around with this realistic gun just on my purse, it felt like A, rude it felt be dangerous oh my god there's still so much stuff in here what's in my purse i have a scarf shout out stotts ballot skinny scarves were all the rage oh i made this ornament for my mom and i never gave it to her classic i also made a tumbler for my mom and it's like mom i love you and it's still in her fridge i haven't given it to her a keels workshop they've had some really good ones my favorite keels event was when I first moved here they had Kehlani perform it was amazing I love her I have a Tom Ford lipstick that is way too expensive to be sitting in a purse that I'm not using regularly and I just cut it with my nail on accident it's 
It's in the color Spanish pink. It's amazing. I think they're really expensive though. I think this was like, don't quote me, but like $75. Really amazing, but you can so get like a Maybelline or a L'Oreal that works just as well. We have a clipper. These are great because it has the, um, the insert that comes out. Two pennies, because I'm rich. Winky Lux Flower Bomb because Lexi keeps one of these. Used to keep one. Oh my god. Yeah, she keeps these in every purse. A Ticonderoga pencil. Always. Because if you're not writing with those pencils in school, what pencils are you writing with? Bobby pens and little clips. Nothing really too exciting in there. I was like waiting for another story to pop out. Um, a foreign bus pass. This looks like it's in Spanish. The Renfe. I'm gonna say like Barcelona or something. But yeah, if you look on the inside of this purse, the Vlieger and Vandom, it has a message. This is an original guardian angel. That's what this bag is called, guardian angel. Do not use it for self-defense purposes. The weapon featured at the front is fake. To avoid any problems, do not take this bag on a plane as hand luggage and do not take this bag to the bank to pick up cash. But please do enjoy it. Which, you know, I really did when I first got it. You know, I would love to hear your thoughts. Like if you would find it offensive. I remember I purchased this and um, my friend from Spain and I were talking and she was like, that's so stupid that you don't feel comfortable wearing it. That's totally fine. I don't think it matters at all. But then I've definitely spoken to people who are like, Lexi, don't be an idiot. Why would you ever carry that? So I've definitely heard Lexi, don't be an idiot. You should so carry that. Lexi, don't be an idiot. Why would you ever carry that? So I'd love to hear who's the idiot, the one carrying it or the one letting it sit in their closet. And then this is the end. I thought I owned more purses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Those are my eight bags. Thank you guys for listening to my purse story times and such. Uh, they all kind of hold memories, which I didn't really realize until making this video. It was kind of nice. Um, more videos to come. I'm like looking around. Like Eventually, I'm going to have to have a room tour, right? I need to do a shoe collection. Guys, my shoes are just amazing thank you so much to Semperd for sponsoring this video if you would like to check them out i will have information in the description box if you want to keep up with me in the meantime i'm constantly posting on instagram and twitter i'll link those down below as well and if you want to be featured as a loyal subscriber add me on notifications and then comment saying you did and you might get a shout out in my next video all right guys i love you thank you so much take care i will see you very soon because it's so much time and I have so much free time. Should I put on this lipstick? I already have lip gloss on. It didn't really apply that much. TV. I want to get my lips done. If you see me with bigger lips one day, you'll know what I did. But until then, these are these babies. Okay. Bye, guys. <laughs>